Hey, what's up guys? This is Aurora Peachy and this is Let's Play Diddy Kong's Quest Donkey Kong Country 2. I actually got a little confused there. I thought it was going to say Donkey Kong Country 2. I never paid attention. It actually says Diddy's Conquest. Huh, <laughs> get it? Kong Conquest. Conquest. Hilarious. So I've chosen this for one of my uh, one of my first two real Let's Plays. I did Aladdin, but um, that was still kind of a practice run because that was a really short game. This is obviously a much longer game. Um, the reason um, I chose this as one of my first ones is because obviously it's uh, an amazing game. Um, my favorite of the three Donkey Kong countries for sure. Um, I've played through it so many times, and I'm so excited to play it again. Um, but, um, the other game that I'm choosing for my first Let's Play is Super Mario RPG, because, um, it's one of my favorite games ever made, ever. <laughs> so, um, that was the obvious choice for one of my first ones. Um, so, since that's definitely one of my first ones, I wanted to play a game that wasn't that was a different genre. Um, so uh, obviously this is um, more of an, uh, an action game. So um, obviously not an RPG. So uh, that's why I chose this one since it's uh, a different different genre. Anyway, I'm rambling. So uh, let's get started. And uh, I'm playing. I am playing this on an, on an emulator. Um, with a Super NES controller, though. Um, so, uh, because it's on an emulator, there's it's pretty blank here. There's nothing here, so let's just go ahead and choose the first slot. And one player. Just me. Gangplank Galleon is the first world. I always loved the music on this map. This is kind of like the world map. And you go in here, and this is where our, all our levels will be for the first world here. And like I said, I've always loved this music. Yeah, I would just sit here for the longest time and just listen to the music. Love it! So, Pirate Panic, first level. Start out with Diddy, the star of the show. Let's go in here and get our, I guess, the story of the game and our one-up. I've kidnapped that lumbering fool Donkey Kong and you will never see him again. Ha 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 ha. Captain K. Rool. There's a nice picture of him there in the background, so, uh, so I guess this is his ship? I don't know. What kind of, I don't know, Diddy's here on King K. Rool's ship. It's kind of strange. And we have our friend, our girlfriend, Dixie Kong. Love Dixie. Though I actually think I like Diddy a little better in this game because he, in general, he moves faster than Dixie does. It's kind of, it's really interesting the dynamic between um, the two characters and how they, their controls are actually very different. Um, Diddy runs faster, he climbs faster, um, at least I think he runs faster. Oh, let's see. I think he runs maybe just a tad faster. Um, he does the cartwheel move to kind of run over enemies, that's his thing. He's he'll cartwheel into them. Um, he, when he carries barrels, he'll carry them in front of him whereas Dixie carries them on top of her head. Very useful for different situations. Those are halfway points. So he carries them in front of him, whereas Dixie carries them <laughs> with her hair over her head. And she can... And she, she does everything with her hair. But of course, one of the best parts about Dixie, of course, is that she can float. Kind of, uh, kind of like Princess Peach in 
uh, Mario 2. She's the one that can, uh, that can do the floaty thing, which is so extremely helpful. Here's one of our bonus stages. Find the creme coin! One creme coin! Hooray. And here we'll get one of our many animal friends. Definitely one of the best ones. Rambi! I believe that's his name. And Rambi's got a new ability in this game. It's kind of weird saying that in this game, like I've played Donkey Kong Country, or well, like I've let's played Donkey Kong Country 1. Of course I've played it. But uh, in this game, you can do a charge up attack with all your animal friends. And in this one, he does a uh, running charge. Which bursts open this door to get us to the bonus level. And of course, what's nice about Rambi, he's just running all the enemies. As long as you don't uh, get an enemy from underneath, he can pretty much uh, jump on and run, run right into just about every enemy in the game, as far as I'm remembering. So he's, he's pretty badass. And there's these signs that uh, says you're gonna lose your animal friend. But <laughs> I got two lives out of losing my Rambi. And um, the um, way you end the stage in DK2 is, uh, DKC2, I should say, is um, these little catapults here. And if you jump on them from high, if you just jump on them from here, it'll just, the, the barrel won't go all the way up. You'll just end the stage, you'll jump on it, and then you'll run right back, run right off the uh, stage. But if you jump from high enough up, you'll get... You'll get the special ending. Special, whatever you want to call it there. Um, so yeah, Main Brace Mayhem. Level 2. Oh, I hate these bugs. Oh, I hate them. Because if you jump on them, they don't die. They... Just, like, they'll, they'll just go on their backs and you have to, like... I don't know. I'll, I'll show you. They're, they're a pain in the ass. They can, they're one of those enemies that can kind of, like, you think you killed them, but you really didn't. And they can really screw you up. Oh yeah, here's a good, uh, you can see that, uh, Dixie climbs at a certain rate, and, uh, Diddy is a much faster climber. Pew! Pew! That's right. Diddy's awesome. I love Diddy. I think I do like him better, a little better than Dixie, overall. Just because he's faster. And a lot of times that'll keep you from getting killed. Oh, come on. Oh! Not fast enough, Diddy. Not that time. See, you had to prove me wrong when I was, uh, talking about how awesome you are. And then you go and die. You can get the letters to spell out Kong. And, uh, I think you get an extra life if you get all the, uh, the Kong letters. See, this is where I don't like. Dixie takes a while to throw the barrels. Because she holds them over her head with her hair. I don't know how that works. She's got magic hair. We got all kinds of lives. And, uh... Oh! Oh! I don't, what? What am I doing here? Killing him? Okay. For some reason. Is there something special over here? No? Alright. Cannonball. This one you can kill your enemies, but it stays here. And uh, where there's a cannonball, there's a cannon. Which usually takes you to a bonus level. Ah, see, this is a perfect example where Dixie is much better. 
because there are, the enemies are above you, so all you have to do is pick it up and jump. Whereas Diddy would have a much harder time with this. Oh! No! Actually, I think we can try it again. Because, yes, the cannonball comes back. That was just a bad angle that I jumped up there. Yeah. Alright, come on, let's do this. I'm glad we get another chance. Do this. Oh! Almost did it again. Pay attention. E. Cannonball up the ass. E. Crim coin. <coughs> the crumb coins that you're collecting from the bonus levels will uh, get you into the. Uh, will get you to the. Uh, I think it's called the Lost World in this game. It's like the bonus world with the bonus levels, like the hardest levels in the game. Um, ah, I'm missing something. I gotta get up there. Um, so that's what those creme coins are for. Is to get you into the lost world, and if you get all the creme coins, and you get, you pass all the lost world levels, that gets you to the, um, like, the super secret awesome final final boss, past the final boss type thing at the end, which, uh, get the stars, I should have used Diddy for this, there we go, um, but yeah, that'll get us, uh, the secret ending, secret boss, which we'll get to, and the DK coins I didn't say anything about here, um, to be perfectly honest, I kind of forget what collecting all the DK coins gets you. I think, oh, I think when you beat the game, I'm doing all this talking about beating the game when I'm like just beginning out, just starting out, but um, if you get all the DK coins, it's something, it's just like a prestige thing at the end. If you got them all, then, uh, ah, oh, I missed the one up. If you get them all at the end, it's just like a... It'll say, like, first, second, and third place type thing. It's just prestige thing. I don't think it really gets you any bonus areas or anything like that. Um, well, let's go up and visit Cranky in the Monkey Museum. Here's Cranky. Come and say hello to your old grandpappy Cranky. I'm back by popular demand to offer you my wealth of gameplay wisdom for this unnecessary sequel. What do you want this time? And basically, he will tell you like, for the first level, try using your team throw at the start. He'll tell you kind of like secrets, secret type things, like maybe where a bonus barrel is or something like that, and that, this is what you're collecting, uh, those banana coins up in the left corner, um, that's what we collect these, those four is, uh, the different, uh, Kong family, um, their areas. They each do something different, so uh, we'll see them all. But Cranky gives you uh, gives you advice where bonus barrels are, little secrets, things like that. 